Yeah, you know, when you talk expectations, everybody plans, hopefully, to win as many games as you can. And we have a difficult schedule right away. Uh, honestly, Dan, I think we're really, really talented. You know, now I think the biggest goal when you talk about expectations is if we can mesh all those younger kids with the older kids, I think we have a chance to be pretty good. Uh, I think you'll see a team that plays up and down, probably presses maybe a little bit more than what we've done um, in the past. But I mean, there, we have certain kids that we can play some lineups that are going to be bigger. You know, and then we have some lineups that we could be able to play kind of the small ball, like maybe some of the fans are accustomed to. Uh, all in all, though, like I like where our team is at, um, probably more so offensively right now. Like I said, we got probably a week and a half until we play our first game, but I think we just need to be able to keep taking those steps defensively, rebounding the basketball, and just understanding what needs to get done in order to play. <laughs> we start with Missouri Western and Fort Hayes, who will be two good basketball teams. So we have a bunch of in incoming people. We have 11 new people, 11 returners. Um, we're very athletic this year. We have a lot of athleticism. We're very quick. So I'm excited to get going and hopefully we get to that championship game, win a championship conference and then go further. Yeah, uh, we have pretty high expectations. I think that's just something that, you know, our coaches and as players and um, just, yeah, teammates, we kind of hammer into our heads of like the winning mindset. Like we, we just have this competitiveness that we want to win and that's just a tradition here at USF um, in the basketball program and so we have very high expectations and I think that just with all the new um, talent and skill that we have and, and just the grit and the amount of girls that like truly have a passion for the game on the team, it's, it's impressive and so it's just been fun to see how everyone works together. I just think they get along so well and I think if you, if you ask any coach, like if, if you want a great team culture and win, and this and that, like everybody's got to buy into each other. And I just think, you know, right now the kids get along great. Um, and again, we're, we're playing well offensively. That, I mean, when the ball goes in, that's that's the easy, easy thing to do is, but you know, now it's like, what we're hoping to do is like, if things aren't going as well, you know, that's where that, t that togetherness, like you got to find the next play, if that's taking a charge, just getting a stop, whatever it might have to be, to be able to kind of change that mojo a little bit. but. Kids are very coachable, number one, and two, our upperclassmen are being great leaders trying to bring a lot of these younger kids along. I really like our team. Everybody has each other's backs on and off the court, and uh, we play very fast, so I also like that too, the style of play and the culture as well. I, yeah, I just love being with them off the court, and I think I've just never experienced that from like, fifth year seniors to like just brand new freshmen like we're able to connect and and get along so well and um, I think how much we enjoy being with each other and hanging out off the court just makes us want to you know have each other's backs on the court and play for each other on the court um, and so yeah that's just been really fun to see how that translates to basketball and just life with each other.